In today's health alert, two new reports reveal rising autism rates in children and the impact that the pandemic has had on this, uh, the detection of this developmental disorder. So joining us now is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, previous reports showed one in 44 kids, uh, eight years old, right? So what about now? Yeah, the new findings, Linda, unfortunately show it's much higher. Instead of one in 44 now, it's one in 36 eight-year-old kids identified with ASD, which is autism spectrum disorder. That's according to an analysis published today in the CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report. Now, this new rate does not apply to the entire U.S. Researchers pulled data from the Autism and Developmental Dis Disabilities Monitoring Network. It's a surveillance program in 11 communities across the U.S. that collects data on the prevalence and characteristics of kids with ASD. Now, the latest data, Glenda, shows that the demographics of eight-year-old children with ASD in these communities had shifted. For instance, there was a 30% higher ASD prevalence amongst Asian, Black, and Hispanic kids in 2020 compared to 2018. And for the first time, the percentages of some ethnic groups were higher when compared to white children. Now, white children that identified with autism was 2.4% compared to black children at 2.9%, Hispanic kids at 3.2%, and Pacific Islander children at 3.3%. Now, just because these numbers are higher doesn't mean that rates in the white communities didn't increase. They also did. Eight-year-old children that were white had a 14.6% higher ASD prevalence in 2020 than in 2018. All right, so the impact of the pandemic, of course, playing a role into this and how it affects children with autism and the delays. Yeah, it seems like the pandemic affected everybody, right? So data from the second report also comes from the same 11 communities and researchers here, Glenda, did find that the pandemic caused delays during the early months after COVID arrived. And four-year-old kids were less likely to be screened or diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder compared to a group of eight-year-old kids when they were the same age. To me, it's extremely unfortunate. Why? Because delays can have long-lasting effects. Autism spectrum disorder is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. And when people with ASD, you know, they may behave, communicate, and learn differently from other people. That's why early intervention is critical. It can have a positive impact by helping kids learn new skills overcome challenges at school and in their personal lives. And I strongly recommend that parents learn the behavioral signs of autism, such as reduced eye contact, lack of facial expression, not responding to their name, or indifference to caregivers. These characteristics can surface anywhere between one and a half to three years of age. Of course, all babies, remember, develop at their own pace, but if anyone feels, right, that their child is not hitting age-appropriate milestones, it's critical to see a doctor to discuss these concerns because to me, it's not all hope is lost. If you intervene early, then you can make a big difference and, and the, child, the children can really develop uh, much better. All right, sounds good, Doc. Thank you, appreciate your time. My pleasure, of course. And if you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.